We're here for the Smith Wine Tasting round number dose. Um, tonight we're drinking a very special bottle of wine that was given to me by my boss as a Christmas gift. Thanks, Mark. Thank you, Mark. We thought we'd taste it with all of you. John, do you want to tell them so what it is? We're doing the 2008 Behringer Private Reserve Chardonnay from Napa Valley. Um, small production. As far as I know, this is their top of the line Chardonnay. I don't know the vineyard where it comes from exactly, but 94 points, Robert Parker, heavy bottle. I think it's 50 bucks, 60, 75 bucks. Much, much of a, much more expensive than anything we would normally buy. Yeah, we used to kind of stick to more of a seven to nine dollar range at Trader Joe's. That's our nightly fare, and you can actually get a, a decent wine in that price range. Yeah, but uh, 94 points in the press, especially from Robert Parker. Cannot get that for eight dollars at Trader Joe's. Sorry. Better roll. And yes, it is a random Tuesday night that we are popping this bottle, because you only live once, right? Cheers, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> this is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling a lot of vanilla, but almost like um, a butterscotch vanilla, just on the nose, like a burnty vanilla. Pretty nice. I would say that it's actually a lot more subtle than I would have imagined. Oh. The oak profile is the not super strong. Butterscotch is definitely really prevalent. strong. I mean, you smelled it and it's you tasted it. It's buttery. Malolactic. Only it's the richest, most expressive lots are chosen for private reserve Chardonnay, which is 100% aged Surly in French oak barrels for nine months, and there goes full malolactic to create a marvelously rich, complex Chardonnay with intense pineapple, creme brulee, brown spice, and butterscotch. Woo! I totally didn't read that before. Creamy, That's really nice. I think creamy. it has a nice acidity though, because the thing about buttery wines, white wines that I don't really like, is they kind of, they're like blah to me in the middle and the finish, and this actually has a pretty nice finish. It's got a little bit of warmth, so what's the alcohol on it? Oh, crap, 14.9. Yeah, that's pretty high for a shark, so. It's, about right. <coughs> it's tasty, it's balanced. Nothing really stands out as far as being an overwhelming component. <coughs> Which, you know, to some people is good. I, I prefer maybe a little bit more of a vanilla, oaky flavor in my Chardonnay. Amanda is the complete opposite, so this is probably perfect for us because it's right in the middle. Yeah, that's, that's nice. It's actually really nice. nice. There's a, the intensity, the fruit's yeah, no, not it's not super fruity, but the intensity of the, the flavors like fig and some more subtle flavors are pretty long lasting. That's neat. You taste fig? It tastes fig. <clears throat> sort of like an off sweet flavor. Mm -hmm. and figs are really like kind of a creamy flavored fruit. It does have a little bit of a sweetness in the finish, actually. I like it. Anything else you want to say? I guess bottoms up. <laughs> it's pretty good. Not the best bottle of shard I've ever had, but definitely one of the tastiest. That's very tasty. And that's a wrap.